a new generation of installation system based on cross-linked polythene of local manufacture. The revolutionary nature of this system is due to its complexity and universality, a working life of more than 50 years and affordability even for ordinary customers. As we've mentioned before, where piping changes direction, pipe linings can be used on the bends. We've already seen from the pictures how spiral or ring linings are fitted. Fitting a liner into a 32mm piping has to be done by two workers due to the physical demands of the task. The radius of the bend is also bigger, so in some cases it is better to use pressed bends with this profile. For the pressing, a set of assembly tools developed by Revel is used which consists of an expander with four sizes of head, a jack and a mechanical press. The whole set comes in its own compact carrying case. As well as the expander and press, the assembly team usually, two people, needs scissors for plastic materials and a precision cutter for 15mm pipes, that is for radiator connections. Both scissors and cutter are available from our company. Now follow carefully the procedure for pressing a joint. First the ring must be placed over the pipe, facing in the right direction. And then the pipe is expanded and the piece inserted. It's always necessary to leave a certain gap between the face of the piece and the edge of the pipe so the material forced by the ring can give way. Then the ring is slipped over the expanded throat. In this way the prepared joint is 100% tight and is immediately ready for pressurised load. This method of cold connecting needs no other energy input. The assembly of heating unit distribution systems always begins with fixing the units to the wall. These radiators are equipped with armatures which can be shortened according to the length of connector so no weight is placed on the floor construction and so connectors enter the armatures at an angle of exactly 90 degrees. Now follows the shortening of the polythene pipe. The pipe is then expanded, the joint is fitted, and both sides are pressed at once. Assembly is clearly very simple. The next shot shows complete connection of the unit on the passing branch of a two-pipe distribution system. Radiator T-joints are used here. In this shot you can see the connection of a classic radic unit at the end of a two-pipe system using a Tickleman connection. This is a one-pipe system with a four-way valve and PEX pipes from the low pressure range. Finally, you can see the complete unit of the compact valve type radic with a Revel thermostatic head on the passing branch of a two-pipe system using RL99 pieces. It is also possible to use this system for surface distribution, but it is always necessary to consider the covering of the PEX pipes in the base of the wall. Here you can see just such an arrangement in detail with this copper convection wall heater type R Revel. The advantage of using the supplied bar is the possibility of using classic radiator joints 
without special expensive crossing armatures. The cutouts for the joints have to be tight to prevent loosening of the joints due to expansion movement. The pipe is fitted in the channel later and is not anchored inside at all. Another type of surface heating produced by Revelpex are floor heating systems. For installation, PEX low pressure piping with increased flexibility is used. When the plasterers are ready, the untreated floor has to be swept. A polystyrene base, necessarily only for insulation, is put into place. Its thickness depends on the heat standards and is determined by the building planner. This layer is not installed in upper storeys and in the ground floor or above non-heated spaces. It is supplied by the builders. Supply of this material is not a matter for heating firms. The expansion strip is prepared further. The expansion strip is fitted on a peripheral wall according to project documentation. This is followed by mounting the polystyrene panels. The panels are fitted with pins. The pipes must be fitted in pairs with one flow in the appropriate direction left out. In the middle of the heating area, the square meterage is checked and the pipes are crossed over. The pipes are fitted with angled brackets as required. The pipes return between the fitted pipes back to the collector. If the area is bigger than allowed by the expansion section, or the loop is longer than 120 meters, the further heated area must be separated by an expansion strip. Where the pipes pass through these expansion strips, they must be carefully protected. The floor system can be laid directly to the skirting boards. With regard to price, this system of skirting board ducts is cheaper. In contrast to the bulky system of pressed polystyrene panels, transport is more convenient. It is not necessary to bring in cut polystyrene panels, as these are available on almost any building site, both here and abroad. These ducts can also be used in dry floor systems, where due to higher temperatures and the danger of sublimation, it's not possible to use the polystyrene panels. They've begun to be used in wall heating systems and in ground collectors for heat pumps. We hope we have managed to persuade you of the advantages of our system, so you too can become another of our satisfied customers. The management wish you success in using the Revel PEX system.